Why would I, when should I stick with decreasing term life insurance? I have been approved for some decreasing term life insurance, with a 25-year term and a decreasing payout by 8% each year. I can leave the contract at any time and take out new life insurance. What I don't understand is, why would you let insurance like this run for its full time period given the decreasing payout each year after 10 years it will pay less than half of what it would originally, with the same premiums, when you could just cancel it and get new insurance? Does it get hard to be approved again for life insurance if you leave a contract and try to get new insurance, or will doing this keep raising the premiums making this not generally worthwhile? Are there best practices for when you should keep decreasing term life insurance in place year on year, versus amending it or cancelling it and taking out new cover? This is in the UK, if that makes a difference. Life insurance premiums do go up with age. A quick Google found a claim that they go up 8 to 10% per year on average, but they go up slower when young, about 5% per year in your 30s, and faster when older, 12% per year in your 60s. Note that 8% decrease in payout per year is equivalent to an 8.7% increase in premiums per year, 1, 1 to 0.08. That's still in the range of 8 to 10% as above. You may become uninsurable or face unexpectedly higher costs, for instance if you are diagnosed with a serious illness terminal or not, take up a risky sport, changes in the insurance marketplace, or who knows what else. From what I read about this product, it's generally only good when you have a predictably decreasing liability you want to cover, such as a mortgage you're paying down, or business startup costs. If you think having half the coverage in 10 years will be a problem, that means you think you'll need the full amount of coverage in 10 years, and you should just get a regular level term policy.